Hello and welcome back to Delilah Spiritual Spot. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your daily pick a card or pick a pile. Um, so let's get started. This is for September 21st, 2020. So I'm going to be using my um, Oracle card deck just to give us a focal point and then you can choose your piles after. So let's get these cards going and let's Ooh. Maximus, how can you feed others when your own table is empty? That's for our first focal point. Phenomenon, be still and listen to the spirits. Effervescence, cultivate love. So here we are, let me move this charger out the way. Pile one, pile two, pile three. And then I'm going to be getting into my groovy weight tarot cards here. So we're going to give this a shuffle. So if you like numbers, it's one, two, or three. Or if you like their uh, focal point or sayings, choose that. So let's get into this. Let's do this. Okay, take this a moment to focus. Um, if I remember, I will put the timestamps in. I know I've been forgetting lately. So let's move these out of the way so we could just focus on this first pile here. So pile one, we have Maximus. We have the lover's cards. How can you feed others? when your own table's empty. Strength, and this is the seven of wands. <clears throat> this has to do all with relationships. How can you feed your, how can you feed your relationship and feed your partner if you're feeling empty, if you're not feeling fulfilled? So this is in direct relation to your partnership. Um, and if it's not a partner, it's a business partner or a close friendship. Some, someone who's very close. Um, who you're trying to give everything to, but you're not holding anything back for yourself. You need some mental strength here. No is okay. To say no is okay. You know, you you have to ha have a little bit for yourself. Um, this this uh, seven of wands is, I mean, it's telling you, how do I put this? It's telling you to protect yourself right? It's telling you to self-defend your mind um, because you're being tested. You're, you're, you're giving everybody all of your energy. Um, that can't be sustained. What's going to happen is you're going to end up resenting that other person if you're not receiving that type of energy back, or you're going to get so depleted, you're going to make yourself ill. So this is the advice or message for pile one, feed yourself. Pile two, Phenomenon. Be still and listen to the spirits. Let's turn these cards over. Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands here. So listen to the spirits. It's like saying listen to your intuition. Whatever that feeling is that you're getting a reference to this situation, I, have, I happen to think that this, is message, this uh, message is <clears throat> about I don't want it I don't think it's a romantic relationship I think this is this is in reference to how you treat all of your relationships the ace of wands here is um is the divine giving you a gift it's giving you the gift of intuition to use your gut instinct when it comes to people and to trust your gut instinct because I don't feel like you're doing that you're not listening to your gut um, and you're not believing what people are showing you. They People show you who they are. They Don't listen to what they're telling you because what they're telling you is one thing, what they're showing you is another. This Knight of Wands is um, <clears throat> speaks to creativity, speaks to passions. And, um, and what this is saying is to, to follow those passions, follow those passions on, on the path 
to some financial gain here because right now is you're not listening to your instincts you have goals right and this is why i say this is not romance this is uh just all your relationships especially with this page pentacles here your business relationships be careful who you bring into your circle keep certain things to the chest um because you want to bring someone who is trustworthy in who is of action, who's going to assist you on your way with this gift here. Use your gut to bring in the right people so you can make your money. This is for pile two. Pile three, we have this effervescence. Effervescence, cultivate love. Now is this romantic love? Is this self love? This is relationship love. This is telling you to, to work hard. Um, to cultivate love means to, to have a balance between give and take. And this is what, what we see here with this charity card. There has to be a balance with what you receive and what you give other people. So it's important for you to try to maintain that. Um, because for you, this cultivate love is maybe you're pulling a little too much from your partner. You need to give something back. I mean, we all have times where things are a little bit off balance, but then you pick up the slack where your partner is lacking something. This Queen of Cups is telling me that, you know, you recognize this. You recognize that there is a little bit more taking than giving at this time and you're working on balancing your emotions and, and fixing things in your relationship. The justice card here, again, with the scales, talks of balance. Um, so if you balance out those emotions, that give and take situation and work with your partner, things are gonna work out in your favor. You'll be able to save your relationship. So this is uh, the message for pile three. And if you're not in a romantic relationship, again, relationships are not always romantic. It could be a friendship, a close relationship that you're struggling with. Um, but that is the message to try to keep the balance. And I'll just put these cards out together so we could just have a shot of all of the beauty of these cards. And this is your Monday pick a pile for September 21st, 2020.